Hello and welcome to the Bay Lancashire TV show. Coming up in this programme we find out how the Lancaster Bulldogs managed in their 12 hour spinathon. We also talk to children in Grosvenor Park Primary School creating excellent artwork inspired by Chaz Jacobs. We talk to the producer of the Duke's Theatre's production of Robin Hood in Williamson's Park. EDF open a brand new visitor centre at their site in Hesham. We look at a day in the life of a church when we went along to St John's in Hesham for their summer fair. We visit Forest Hills to see some of the Lancaster and Morecambe Contemporary Community Choir performing. And we speak to Lancaster City Council's Older People's Champion about the possible closure of Altham Meadows caring for those with dementia in this area. We also look at one of the great days out here in the Northwest with the Sandcastle Festival. And in sport, we went along to Cancer Care's charity football match at the Globe Arena, where there were some famous faces from Coronation Street, Hollyoaks and Grange Hill. First of all, we went along to the opening of the new visitor centre at Hesham Power Station. After 10 years, EDF decided it was time to open its doors again to the public. We spoke to several people, including Martin Butlin, some of those on the Graduate or Apprenticeship Scheme, and the local MP, David Morris. Opening of the new visitor centre today, after how many years, Martin? It's been about a decade since we shut it down, so yeah, exciting news today that we're opening this one. OK, so tell us what's new and what we can expect or, or visitors can expect if they arrive. OK, well it's a brand new visitor centre. Uh, we've got an exhibition centre with lots of interactive uh, items for, for children and adults to come and play with, learn a little bit about electricity in general, how it's produced, nuclear specifically. And from there, if people are pre-booked, need a couple of weeks' notice, then they can go for a look around the power stations and see it for themselves. Um, it's, it's good that we're opening a visitor centre that's not... It, we've had a facility before and I've actually seen it um, that's quite outdated, but it was still very interesting nonetheless. And the new visitor centre that's been opened now is going to open the doors to the public to show exactly how nuclear power works and how it feeds into the national grid and how it plugs the deficit in energy that we, I believe we will shortly be facing. Brilliant. So in terms of the local economy, how do you see this uh, contributing? Oh, it will contribute immensely. Um, we've got the third nuclear power footprint here in, in this constituency, which I personally had a lot to do with, with, with Christian when he was Energy Secretary, arguing with him constantly over the benefits of nuclear power as there was no public subsidy in it, coming from the coalition government. Um, you know, I argued quite quite successfully that we needed to plug the deficit and Hesham was the place that we should be building the third nuclear power station. This will promote that cause. We're talking up to 1,700 new jobs in the area with the building of the new power station and, you know, EDF and the nuclear power industry is a major player in this constituency. OK, I'm here with Jake Hope and Beth Thomas. Beth, tell us what prompted you to get into this industry. Well, when I was very small, I, I came round and had a look at the visitor centre when that was originally open, um, and um, was just really in awe of the power stations. And I only live in the local area, so you can see them across the bay. And it's just been—I've just been, you know, inspired by them. And, and stuff, so. Okay, so tell us what you do here. I'm in chemistry um, on Hesham Two Power Station. So in chemistry, we basically look after the chemical control of the reactor and the turbine systems. Um, which means we just keep the, the chemicals in um, specific um, boundaries uh, to check that we're running safely and efficiently. Okay, brilliant. Jake, you do something different. You're a CI technician. Tell us what CI technicians uh, do. It's the control and instrumentation, which is basically looking at four main areas. We look at our pressure level, temperature and floor, like so maintaining the pressure systems uh, within the power station, getting the right amount of floor of substance like going through the pipe work and where it needs to be. Okay, so anybody who might be interested who's probably leaving at high school now, what would, what would you give them in terms of advice? Uh, uh, I came, I was at the point after my A-levels where I didn't know what I was going to do really, so I applied for university and applied for this like, at the same time. Uh, and obviously when I got the job for this, I, I 
thought this would be a better opportunity for them in terms of like earning while I'll learn, uh, not getting off the debt um, and actually having much more of a great career prospect than coming out of university after four years and maybe just trying to find a job. So the support and the training uh, from EDF, how would you describe that? It's fantastic. I've, over the, I've only been here a year, but I've learned so much. And you get to see so many parts of the business, you get to you get involved with so many different events and organisations. Um, and it's just, it's just a great company to work for because they really help you along and you grow as a person with them. Well, this is the sixth visitor centre that we built so far. We've got one more to go that will be over in Hartlepool that will finish uh, in the autumn. Um, the idea of these visitor centres is a facility for the local community and for schools to come in and learn a bit about what we do here. Um, we're, we're determined to be more open and transparent as a company and this is a very easy way to do it. Uh, so so um, a school party can come in, they can walk around, they can do some hands-on experiments with electricity, so they wire up staircases, uh, make electric motors, uh, things like that. Or they can come around and they can just learn a bit about how power is produced. Not just nuclear power, we talk about all kinds of power here, but then we do concentrate on what we do, which is produce electricity through nuclear generation. And we talk about why that's a bit different, how we keep things safe uh, and how we protect the environment. Okay, so you mentioned the, the potential for community groups to maybe use the facilities. How might that work? Well, we've got a classroom at the back that seats about 50 people with, with, with uh, uh, chairs and tables, uh, or you can have it bigger in lecture style, you probably get about 60 people in. So if a group wants to come in and book, book themselves on a tour, you could come and have a tour of the centre or just or the station or just the visitor centre, and then use the facility at the back. Uh, for anything really you really wanted it to, it would be fitted with projectors and screens and so we can run pretty much anything. And the idea is, is that we create a flexible space that we can use for education, for us and for the community. Because we are obviously really eager to demonstrate for the, with the future generation that nuclear has a role to play for a low carbon, a secure and affordable electricity in this country. At the heart of it, as I have said, there is trust and uh, in a sense uh, what, what is better, uh, Reverend David, to, to the trust in any human adventure, trust between people working in a plant, trust between the company and the local communities, trust between customers in this country and company like ours, trust between the decision maker in Westminster and in Whitehall and ourselves. Visitor centers are all about trust. I'm happy to celebrate this opening ceremony because it is the celebration of trust. Thank you very much.